Morning at the MJ Morning Show. It's Q105, MJ and the crew here, and uh, I thought it was a little strange, but then it sort of makes sense. So Roxanne a little while ago said to me, do you and Michelle sleep in the same bed? I'm like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> yes, we, we sleep in the same bed. And then Roxanne explained why she was asking. You've had multiple conversations with your girlfriends. Were you guys, like, uh, having some mimosas and having a discussion? Or, what, or is this is just stuff you pick up through individual conversations? Both, both. But specifically, we were having mimosas and talking about sleeping habits with our husbands. And so I realized that more women, a big chunk of people, are saying, okay, let's sleep in separate beds. All right, so you have a multitude of friends that are sleep. How old are your friends? 30s and 40s. 30s and 40s, and the husband and wife are sleeping in uh, in the same room or different rooms? Okay, different rooms in some cases because when you're in your 40s, for women, hormones start to get a little bit wacky. Right. And so you sweat more or you toss and turn. You can't sleep. Restless leg syndrome. Right. And then you guys, you know what you start to do as you get a little bit older? You have to get up and pee all the time. Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. I've been doing that since, you know, <laughs> what, 12. What, wet the bed? Yes. Yes, that's exactly what I do. Uh, you know, let's uh, let's grab some calls on this. Uh, do we have any, any listeners? Are you sleeping in separate beds because of sleeping issues? It's not like you're in the doghouse. Now, I've, uh, I've had Michelle say, I'm angry at you. Go sleep on the couch. It's happened a couple of times during our marriage. But, you know, not often. It's never happened to me. But how do you sleep next to that log sawing wife of yours with those, the fact that you could sleep with that <laughs> snore? Yeah, I did. You know, you could easily be like, I'm going to go across <laughs> no, the house. M- Michelle, hold on a minute. Michelle is not like that. This was like one time that. Oh, I thought this, it was every night. This is like, what, three months ago, I was leaving at five o'clock in the morning to come to the studio. And I'm like, my God, Michelle snoring like a, like a. What do you call it? What, what, what is Buzz it? Buzz you know, like like saw. Like she saw. Oh, uh, like yeah. a log saw. Yeah, like like yeah, like she was sawing logs. And I grabbed my phone. I hit the recorder on my phone and. <laughs> That's Michelle. <laughs> a long, a longshoreman. <laughs> She's so pissed. She's still pissed at me. Uh, so you've got, how many friends are we talking about that sleep in separate beds? Well, just a couple of friends that sleep in separate beds, but then so many of them agree that if they go like to a hotel and there happen to be two beds in the hotel room, you know, two what? two doubles instead of a king, yeah. then they're secretly well, happy different. because right. it's like, oh, thank goodness, I'm going to get a good night's sleep. All right, let me see if we can get a call or two on this. 800-990-1047. Are you sleeping in separate beds? Are you a relatively young couple and you're sleeping? In... I don't want to hear from like 75-year-olds. Yes. Oh, yes, we're sleeping. In... Uh, All right. Gertrude so, and I, we stopped hey, listen, sleeping. Not, nothing against 75-year-olds, but you know, I think it's more common for... Uh, uh, senior citizens to maybe sleep in separate beds. 800-990-1047. Just out of curiosity, anybody listening now and you're sleeping in separate beds from your husband or wife? All right. 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. I don't know if this counts, but we, we have a king bed, and uh, it's time for it to go. We need right. a new king bed. And I said to my wife, I go, hey. Let's get two queen beds, but push them together. And she's like, well, that's the dumbest idea I've ever heard. And I was like, no, we each have our own queen bed. So then we still sleep together in the same. Would there be times to push them apart or you're just looking for like a, a double wide? I'm looking for, that's exactly why, what I'm why, why not get two king beds then? Well, the Why not, not make the whole room a mattress? <laughs> you, walk, listen, you, you know, fashion, you, right when you, you roll in the middle, it's going to yeah. open like a cellar door, and just, you're going to fall like no, right no, to the no, floor no, you with your weight. Them. Oh, you man, can look, position them. Look at the phones. And then we can make it like a wrestling arena when it's time to get it on. Hey, oh, yeah, sexy. Right? Hey, uh, Tanya in Tampa. Ooh. Hi, Tanya. Welcome to the MJ Morning Show. Hey. Are you sleeping in separate beds? We actually have separate rooms. Whoa! Hi, Tanya, how old are you and your husband? Um, we're in our 40s. We've been together 27 years. Um, all three of our children are grown and out of the house. It started him sleeping on the couch when they lived at home because I snored so loud. 
Yeah. Um, but then when they moved out, he just took over a room, and now we just sleep in separate rooms. And is your marriage good? It's great. We- do you still have, like, like which room do you choose? Do you still have, like, relations? We do, and it's usually my room because it's cleaner. <laughs> hey, come on, come over to my room and let's have some uh, some uh, some sexy time. Hey, Tanya, thanks for the call. All right, quickly. How weird. Uh, let me grab Kim. Kim is in Lakeland. Kim, are you sleeping in separate rooms? Sometimes because I didn't. I was snoring really loud, and I didn't know why. And then I went to the doctor, and we've discovered that I have sleep apnea. Wow. And and then I sleep with the um, the CPAP machine now. Yeah. Uh, Kim, how old are you? It's, 51. Gotcha. How old's your husband? Uh, 50. All right. Well, look, I mean, thanks for the call, Kim. I appreciate it. Look at the phones. Are, look at the phones here. Yeah, I can't believe it's we, we crazy. Got two women snorers. Oh. It, it, it's well, because of them. Hey, you got my wife. Listen. <laughs> It should start like a biker gang she's, or something. She's going to throw me in another room tonight. <laughs> All right. Uh, that, look at that, Roxanne. Your friends are sleeping in separate beds because of reasons, and uh, the phones just blew up here. 